Well, we're back. What a amazing intro. Anyway, Nathan has tasked me with either building us a workshop or getting into Twilight Forest. Now, as I wander around the snow tree thinking about which one we're going to do, I think I'm going to do the building one for now. And we'll see how that one goes. I need to find somewhere flat to build. And if I hit the right key, oh, go, go away. Um, well, the plague isn't making it very easy to see where. Uh, well, the map isn't doing a good job anyway. So yeah, I think I'm just going to find somewhere kind of flat nearby to start building. And we'll see how this goes. You know, I could dig a big hole underground. Could make myself a hammer, and we could just build it underground. So I'm going to need a tool rod, large plates, and a hammerhead. Now, what am I going to make the hammerheads out of? That is a great question. While I wait, I might as well go figure out what I'm going to even build the place out of. Because having building materials is very important. Okay, we have the chisel mod. We have 12 pages of blocks to work with, apparently. So I could do quite a lot of things, it looks like. I think cobblestone is going to be one of the big things. Well, let me start off with actually making the chisel. I think that would be a good place to start. I'm going to make it out of iron because I want to preserve my diamonds, despite the fact that I have 14. What does this look like? Yeah, it looked exactly like I was expecting it to. Cobbles cobblestone bricks. I seem surprised by that, but in reality, I'm not. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Also... Let me mob-proof my house, because I just, you know, kind of left that there. Well, and I just threw my axe on the ground. Of course. Okay. I hit the wrong button. I seem to be good at that. You know, I could do the smart thing, and pop into a creative world, and kind of figure out what I want to make. But that would be the smart thing to do. And I'm not smart, on occasion, most of the time. I might also go just go, like, wander around, see what other resources I can get my hand on. My hand on? My hands on. If I can speak English properly, which I can't, apparently. So, I think I'm gonna just put all this away for now, and just gallivant. And if I see anything interesting, I'll, uh... Do something. I can upgrade my backpack, actually, and I might just do that. So, I need my backpack, a chest, and some iron. Luckily, all of that is easy to get my hands on chest, iron, and my bag's already in my hand. So, let me craft up my chest, make the ingots, boom, 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 oh, oh, boom, boom. I now have more backpack space. Now I'm ready to go adventuring. After I put, after I put the iron back, I see a thing off in the distance. I'm going to sleep, and then I'm going to go see what that thing off in the distance is. And actually, one thing before I go. I want a sleeping bag. I'm going to grab the three pieces of string I have to my name. And we're going to go on a sheep quest. We're going we're gonna to do what Nathan did his second episode. And we're going to go on a sheep quest. Ah. What a great time to have a lag spike, right as- ow. Right as I'm getting attacked. Die. Stab. Stab. Dead. Ooh. Solidified experience. Nom. Snip. 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 I hope Nathan doesn't get bad at me for doing a snip compilation like he did. I doubt he would, but, you know. Okay, I think I have enough wool now. I just need to get a bunch of blue dye to make blue carpet. Can I make blue dye out of these blue mushrooms? 
No, of course not. That would be too convenient. How about are these blueberries? No, that also would be too convenient. So it really is lapis or just uh, flower picking. That's that's the word I'm looking for. I really struggle with speaking apparently, which you know is totally a good thing for when you have to do it for hours on end in front of well, in front of an audience, which doesn't really exist yet, considering you know. I'm still recording. There is there is no live studio audience, I think. Yeah, no. Just check behind me. No live studio audience. Let's see. I need four pieces of blue carpet. Okay. So... Can I make the carpet, then dye it blue? Or do I have to do... No, that would be too convenient. <laughs> okay, well... I need more blue dye of some sort, either in the form of lapis or the blue flowers I found. See another random structure off in the distance. I might get sidetracked yet again and just uh, explore that one. Random blue structure. I have blue crystal shards. I don't know what I can do with those. We'll save them for later. Of course this platform is floating. Why wouldn't it be? Okay. And this one also seems to have been looted by Nathan, which makes sense, considering he's done three episodes in this series, and has gotten a lot further ahead than the rest of us. It's almost as if this is his mod pack or something. Hey, look. The Applied Energistics uh, Meteorite thing. Still on the hunt for blue flowers, and if that doesn't work, I'm hitting the caves and looking for lapis. What is this? I actually have, like, no idea. Pig. Ah, it has a zombie spawner in it. I'm going to climb the ladder. I'm going to climb the ladder. Empty. Okay. Chest. With a bunch of stuff in it that I am going to yoink. And we'll figure out what it is later. What did I get? Okay, music disc, name tag. An ancient tome with smite. Five. Infinity. Saddles, chocolate, a diamond crystal, which I think we need, so that if I can figure out which of my many keybinds open up the logbook. Do I even have that set? No, I don't. Hey, look, the quest book. Um, I think I need this. Yeah. So this saves me the need for that. Thankfully. For the, uh... Twilight Forest, so we can get to Surtis Quartz and Applied Energistics. It is dark out. If only I had a sleeping bag. You know, from far away, for some reason, I thought these were pork chops growing on trees, which I know makes zero sense, which is why I was very confused. Who am I? I go. If there were not mod conflicts, there would be a replay mod montage here. I've come to the conclusion that I might have to go strip mining if I want to get my hands on Lapis. But that also requires me to get a pickaxe that's not going to break right now. It's perfectly timed, I will say. I did find redstone, though, which will come in handy for, once again, Twilight Forest. God... Nathan isn't here to say the line, but I imagine he's going to say the line in the comments section. I might just directly make a cobalt pickaxe, because why not? We have, we have, we have. I don't know how many ingots I'm going to need, but I guess we'll see. We'll just throw them back in here. That will take a really long time to melt. I'm going to need to go and refill the lava. I'm going to do the slightly dangerous thing of going to the nether to refill the lava instead of just going down into the cave and be safe about it. Because that's the stupid thing to do, and... I like doing stupid things. While this throws a wrench in the plans, I don't have an easy way down. Meaning, back to the overworld. Anyway, pickaxe. So now I need a tool rod and a tool binding, which I'm going to make out of the most basic materials ever, wooden cobblestone. Now, am I going to make my own tinker setup? No. I'm going to steal Nathan's. Um, part crafter. Here we go. 
I need tool binding and not a pickaxe, I have a tool, tool rod. There we go. And now we're gonna go boop, boop, boop. It'd probably be on the pickaxe thing. There we go. Cobalt pickaxe. 825 durability and supposedly quite fast mining speed. Also, we'll be able to mine the redstone that, you know, we don't speak of like, ever again. <sighs> Forgot to bring torches with me. There's a cool thing I can do in this pack, in which involves me finding coal. Now, I don't see coal, which is slightly problematic. Hey, look. Coal. Okay. Now that I was... Hey, look, a lot of coal. Now that I was somewhat lazy, and I say somewhat because I probably wasn't all that lazy, but now that I found coal, what we can do in this pack is we can make stone sticks, well, stone rods, I guess, but then we can do that as well and make stone torches, which, you know, saves me the effort of having to climb up this little ladder. I can, if I had a if I had a nickel for every time I have missed this uh, entrance to my mind, I have about three nickels. Which, uh, yeah. Anyway, no. Nope. If I had a nickel for every time I misplaced that block just now, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that I've had it twice. Of course, I find like five different ores right here, none of which are lapis. Ow, 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 ow. Having my safety bucket just then would have been nice. But that would have been smart of me to do. And wouldn't have I been known to be smart. I seriously almost just jumped into the lava again. I swear I'm not bad at this game. But I seem to be... I seem to be really bad at this game lately. How is there seriously no lapis in this cave? And is this really all there is to this cave? It would appear so, yes. Lovely. Well, back to uh, my hole I go. That is a full iron zombie. Ouch. 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 Didn't really pack that much of a punch though, surprisingly. And my inventory is full of random garbage. Oh my god, I found the lapis that I was coming down here for. Hallelujah. Now, I can finish making my sleeping bag. If I remember correctly, it was... yeah, there we go. So, I have a sleeping bag. Which means, I can sleep on the go. Okay, so, Nathan got back to me. And I gotta go remember what he said now, but I'm going to sleep first, and hope that- oh. I'm going to sleep first. I'm gonna kill the zombie first, then I'm going to sleep, and then I'm gonna hope the rain goes away. Okay, Nathan was saying to make a flint head and plates of Electro. No. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna need tough tool rod, which I'm probably going to end up making out of wood. Um, the hammerhead of flint and an electrum, which is gold and silver. Okay, so tough tool rod, wood. Wow, that took all three. Hammerhead, flint. That took a lot of the flint, okay. I have no idea how I can hold a torch in one hand and eat an entire loaf of bread while also climbing up a ladder. With, you know, two hands. But then again, I don't question Minecraft logic. You know, I just realized something that I would have done if I was smart. I would have brought the tank with me and filled it up down here, that way I didn't have to do 58 trips up and down the ladder. So now that I have the gold and the silver going, 
will eventually get the Electrum. And once I get the Electrum, I'll be able to build the hammer. And once I have the hammer, I'll be able to dig a hole. And once I dig a hole, we can decorate the hole. And once we decorate the hole, we can move all of the stuff into the hole. Okay, the Electrum is slowly melting. Make melt slowly, slowlying itself. Okay, two blocks of Electrum. Should be plenty. Should be more than plenty. It should be, you know, more than enough. Okay, maybe not. Didn't realize you needed that much for a plate. Okay, it's a good thing I put a whole block in there then. Okay, so now that that's done, we're gonna once again break into Nathan's house. We're gonna go to a hammer. Boom, 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 boom. And a flint electrum hammer. With the hammer, I can mine a three by three chunk of blocks. Like that, fairly quickly. And because it's made out of flint, I can just take it into here and repair it, like that. 